down one piece at a time. A suit was $175 originally, but is discounted 25%. A sales tax of 6.5% is added based on the discounted price. What is the final price of the suit? To the nearest percent, what is the percent of change between the original price and the final price paid, including sales tax? So there's a lot going on there, and I just want to start out by seeing the first question that I'm being asked. And the first question I'm asked is, what is the final price of the suit? I can't address the others until I figure that out. Well, the suit was $175, then it was discounted, and then we had sales tax. So we have several things going on. And Translating this into an equation, if I take the original price of the suit and then I subtract the discount, I'm going to get the discounted price. I won't have the final price, but it's the first step in figuring out the final price. Then, once I have that discounted price, I'm going to add the sales tax to that, not to the original price. Well, the original price is $175, and the discount's 25%. So the, the amount of the discount will be 25% of 175, just writing it all as one equation, and that's going to give me the discounted price. And that actually comes out to 131.25. Now I take the discounted price and I'm going to add the amount of the sales tax to get the final price. Discounted price is 131.25 and since the sales tax I am adding 6.5% of that price which is 0.065 times 131.25 and that gives me a final price of 139.78 so I answered the first question, what is the final price of the suit? Now they want me to calculate percentage change. And remember, I'm going to calculate percentage change using my formula involving the final value minus the original value over the original value times 100. So I go back and I look, I have my final price and I have my original price was $175. So the final price was 139.78 minus the original value. That was $175 divided by the original price, which is $175 times 100 because I'm dealing with percents. And when you calculate that all out, it comes out to 0.2, this all comes out to 0.2 times 100, and that gives me 20%. And it's actually a negative number. Since it's a negative number, what I have is a 20% decrease in the final price. Because I had a discount, which took it down a lot, although some sales tax added to it, Comparing the final to the original, it was actually a 20% decrease. Today we discussed applications of percents. Thanks for visiting educator.com.